I'm not quite sure how this I don't like it so anyways there, there's a crack here and I'm not sure where this goes so I mix up some more uh, slow set with some uh, stream and interference blue in it just to kind of resemble it so it isn't that far off but I'm gonna pour this in I just wanted you to see what what I'm dealing with so and let it go and we'll see from there it's close it's not perfect but Just awesome. Got the boot, my camera's all messed up and everything. Big crack right there. That's what I was hoping to get rid of. Since today is a wonderful day <laughs> and everything is going wrong so I've ripped the wires out of that camera right there I'm surprised it's working at the moment uh, I've been pelted with chunks of stuff coming off of this and I also have all these cracks and like some of them filled and that's probably what I was trying to fill before but not all of them so I have to repair these I'm pretty much gonna do just this shape I got one on this side I got to fill right here uh, the, the biggest issue with this is, is that's a bigger bucket. It is four and a half gallons. So this is 10 inches or 10 and a half inches wide instead of eight, like the other one is. Um, I, I don't think this looks too bad transitioning into the dark that I'd poured. So I think I'm going to leave that. And, but right now I'm going to try to fix these and I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to put, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with a fast set resin. Uh, we'll build some kind of dam or duct tape it or something. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not sure what to do with it.
It appears I did all that and didn't even push the go button. So anyways, I finished it with a abrasive paste. I'm not even sure if I recorded a sanding. So I, <laughs> this project's just been one of those things. So 80 grit, up through the grits to 800 grit. Sanding sealer, uh, then abrasive paste, and some DIY Carnuba wax. And now I'm gonna flip it over. <laughs> it does look pretty good. The amount of resin I poured is because it has caused those cracks and it's kind of disappointing. It's not real bad, but I've had to fix it way too many times. And I'm probably gonna have to fix it again when we get on the inside. But I don't like that wax right there. <laughs> oh, y'all, I'm not gonna finish this project. <laughs> so now it's got a dink in it. It's really hard. Get cracks in there. Hopefully, I can turn those out. See them there. I don't know what I'm hitting in here, but it's really hard.
heavy on one side. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that stayed together. With all the moving that it did, as you can see, she's she's a little wobbly up this way. I hate turning cedar. <laughs> and that's why it's pretty, but ugh. But all right, uh, let's see. Let me get her over there and you guys get a closer look. Silver Nash Workshop. All right, so I met this guy, and actually, I gotta send him one, but I don't know where to send it, so I need to contact him. I met him at a farmer's market here in town where I live. Uh, nice guy, he's got a few videos up on a YouTube channel. Uh, I believe he's doing like cabinets and stuff, but hey, you know, gotta help everybody out, so go check him out. Uh, link's up there in the corner, and your sticker is uh, right there. Now, I have another one, and this, this thing came in the mail. Didn't have a whole lot. It's kind of cool. And I know we're rolling into October here, so Halloween it is this month. So I figured I'd promote this for her a little early. Um, it's Skulls Inspired. And uh, <clears throat> I'll put all her stuff in the description below. And I believe she had a YouTube channel. I thought I watched the videos. So we'll put that up in the corner. Also, and thanks for the, the keychain and the sticker. And we'll get that on the board. All right, so your sticker is right there. <laughs> Anyways, uh, look at that holographic envelope she sent it in. Nice card. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, this way. So all her info is. Oh, shit. She's even got TikTok there by the looks of it. Twitter, TikTok, all that good stuff. So, uh, I, like I said, in the link below. Now, I'm trying to hurry up because this video has been too long, dusty. All right, so this project's been a couple weeks in the making. I got a little irritated with it, put it in a pressure pot, and left it there when I was fixing the first cracks on the outside. <laughs> I put it there and I went fishing. And then I left it there until like the middle of the next week. <laughs> <laughs> and then I found more boo-boos. So here I am, you know, last minute fixing it again. But somebody needs their fix of wood turning stuff. So <sighs> here you go, Kim. Here it is. Uh, cedar, not my favorite wood to turn. Uh, my wife seems to like it, so good luck getting that out of her dirty little hands. <laughs> she was in here already oohing on on it, oogling it. Um, it's not, I mean, it didn't turn out bad. I, I really like the the water look I, I don't care for the cracks it's my fault too much too much material at one time I should have only made it like this thick this is wider than my normal normal bowls it's like 10 inch so you know here's what it is dummy dummy screwed up <laughs> but I, I I tried to save it I got for the most part I did a pretty good job at repairing it I just I, I wasn't having it and I really it's really cool looking. I wish it wouldn't have the cracks in it, but um, it does look good. And, and like I said, cedar. So, so roughly a 10 inch bowl by probably four or five inches <laughs> deep. <laughs> and and I, I'd intended, intended to turn off, you know, this part of it. And I was like, well, wait, that'll just leave me nothing but sap wood. You know, it says if I turn too much of the red off here, that just leaves the sap wood here. And so that's why I poured more resin and, you know, hindered myself. Hmm. But anyways, I will, uh, 
I don't know how to show you the bottom. Here's my logo, all burnt and all kind of crooked. Um, I will get pictures up at the end. Uh, give her a thumbs up if you liked it, a thumbs down if you didn't. Um, see you all next week. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.